yeah. and Seattle is in rare form beating the brakes off of Minnesota, right? My former team, both of them, and they talked to Adrian after the game. Yeah, yeah. And we, we, ha we have that audio. Yeah, we got it. They were just a better team. You know, they were more aggressive, played more physical, and, um, you know, they outcoached us as well. Outcoached how? In so many different areas. And out and out play too in so many different areas as far as players as well. Okay. So <laughs> let me say this to the listeners first. <laughs> the media and we work in the media now, right? Yeah. The media, reporters, uh, you know, all the people that surround the game, uh, from that perspective, they love it when you say things like that. Like you heard immediately after he said it, what the guy say? I'll, I'll coach the sound. He didn't hear he didn't hear anything else. He didn't hear what Adrian said about the game and them being a good team, Seahawks, all that. He heard out coach, so he jumped in on that. So when people read these hot, these hot lines, if you will, on, in the paper, on, on your local NFL.com app, that's the media catching something and then saying, please explain. That's what, what you they think do about best. it. What do you think about it? Should he have done it or not? Yeah, he should have done it. Okay. Now, now let's let's talk about the response before we really dive into this issue. The response from Mike Zimmer, the head coach, and, and TD just gave me the quote, and I don't want to butcher too much, but it's fairly simple. He basically said, "I can read the quote off." Yeah, read the quote, TD. He goes, "I don't really worry about other people's opinions. I just worry about what I think." Okay, so now let's jump into it. You you just asked me, uh, what you think? Sh should should have AP said that? AP is the best running back in football right now, right? Marshawn's down. Yeah. AP, in my opinion, is the best running back in football. Quite possibly the best running back of our era. Yeah. He has the right to talk about himself, his teammates, and the coaching. There's certain players that don't get that right. After 11 years of football, maybe a couple times in my career, maybe a couple years I had that right because I was playing at a high level, and I had that respect to where what I said had merit and had weight. AP has that same type of respect. You know what's crazy is for anybody who says AP shouldn't have said that, shouldn't have called out the coaches, why not? Because a coach can get there on the podium and call out a player, and we don't even bat an eye. Like, we'll just be like, oh, that's what coaches do. They're supposed to. This is a family atmosphere, bro. Like, yeah, you might be the authority, from a coaching perspective, but we all working in this together. And facts is, AP makes more money than everybody. So, from a talent standpoint, mm. respect him. Get him from man. a money standpoint, mm. respect him. Mm. So, if anybody can call out anybody, it's AP. So, for the fact that Mike Zimmer said, I don't concern myself with the opinions of others, I see that as disrespect to AP because AP's not what, Mike? He's not – 